everyone. Welcome to my channel, Emperor Series 88. My name is Tanya. All right, so I'm going to try to do two fast readings today. This will be the first one. And I have a song for you, Life Goes On by Poison. So let's call in spirit. Let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit, guides, and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, spirit. All right. So, collective, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a gender. But if I say he or she, please excuse and forgive. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel. These are timeless readings. Whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so. And I'm so happy, so happy to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you like a minute, baby. All right, so let me read this. Let me read the lyrics and then we'll move forward here. I felt this before. Now I feel this again. No matter how hard I try, the feeling won't end. So I pretend you are here by my side tonight on this lonely ride. Keep telling myself this. Life goes on while you're miles away and I need you. Time rolls on. As night steals the day, there's nothing I can do. You heal up my wounds. I tasted your tears. You spill out your heart, so I let out my fears. But one fear I kept myself kept to myself. How I prayed that you'd love no one else like you're saying you love me. Okay. So, yeah. Sounds like soulmates and separation to me, baby. Let's get going. Let's read about it. Spirit, give me some messages please about this reading about life going on baby life goes on because we got no choice right we got to keep moving i always say this the sun rises and sets whether we want it to or not and this is what this person's finding out and it's really at night that this person is really missing and reminiscing about their person is what i'm hearing as the night steals the day they can't escape this person's memory yeah all right broken yeah shattered their heart is broken thinking about this person emotional storm turmoils this person's very unstable right now your person you or your person flip the rules as you see fit family they might have a family or you might be family to them or you might have been a family to them you might have been married to this person they're hoping manifesting having faith, trying to have faith in this connection, clarity, truth. Maybe they're trying to be honest with themselves for a change. Distance, the separation, clarification of that. You're the divine feminine. Okay. Influences, third party situations got involved in this situation. Conflict. Yes, there's differences between the two of you. And I think it's just morals, too. It's like morally you're at a different place than this person. This person, maybe you're more spiritual than this person and they shunned you. They shunned your feelings. They shunned your your likes and your, your what is it called? your interests they do they weren't interested you were more interested in spiritual things they were more interested in base things they're in their north their south node and you're in their north node you're their light and they were the darkness so there was contrasting differences between the two of you that made it seem to this person that you were incompatible but now as they're thinking about you in the distance has expanded expounded whatever the word they're feeling the effects of the loss of you is what i'm hearing and they're not happy in their life at all they're with somebody else they're miserable because it's not you it's not you and that maybe that's their truth that they needed to learn you know and maybe they had children with you and marriage with you and a life with you and you didn't think that they would ever leave you yeah fool's gold they went chasing after something else romance but thorns right every rose has its thorn they were with somebody else. They may have cheated on you, left you, ghosted you, and betrayed you. Yeah, choices. And it was the wrong one. Yeah, this way or that. And it left them in their anxiety now that they made the wrong choice. But they want to tell you that they love you. But they're in the dark night of the soul right now. And they're in it. They're in it right now. And this is why 
you're coming to their mind and they can't sleep at night thinking about you, baby girl, baby boy. Yeah, broken heart, man. Can't be mended by any tape. Can't be mended by any um, stitches, you know. They can't go to the ER. It's not going to take care of this broken heart. And they're ashamed and they want your forgiveness for what they've done. They broke up the two of you, but I think they broke up a family for some of you, yeah. They needed humility. They needed an ego death. Maybe they thought too much of themselves. You were the victim in this bottom of the deck. You were the victim in this situation, is what I'm hearing. They did this to you. They betrayed you. And now they feel like, what am I going to do? They're not going to forgive me. They've moved away, miles away. And miles away from this person. And all they do is stay up at night thinking about you. Wishing they could have you. In their dreams, they're with you. Maybe they're sending you telepathic messages, you know, to come back to you. Maybe they're, when they're visiting the children or taking the children, you know, they're trying to have some sort of conversation with you. Maybe they're trying to get to you through the children for some of you. But you're not... You've made a different choice based on how they treated you. And for some of you, you don't want this person back. You've moved forward and there's going to be other opportunities in the future for you or if it's already happening now. Past, past present, or future energy could be at play. But it's like you don't want this person anymore for some of you. You know, you may forgive this person, but you're not going to go for that. You know what I mean? You're not going to give them a second chance. It's like they say... If somebody does something to you, shame on them. If you take them back and they do it again, shame on you. You know, that type of thing. Once bitten, twice shy. That's that's how it feels with this person that maybe you don't want to forgive them. You don't, not forgive them. You don't want to take them back because you don't want to go through that again with that person. For some of you, it's done. Yeah, it's they're lonely and they're empty. Nine of Pentacles, but in the reverse. They're lonely without you. And they realize that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. But they were chasing fool's gold. They were chasing somebody else. Yeah. Three of Cups. Um, Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. They betrayed you. Because hedonistic. They were indulging in other situations. Other people. Toxicities. And bad habits. And they got into that. The hangman. So maybe they sacrificed you. In the meantime. Yeah. But there is a suspense between this and maybe even the spiritual growth on your part. You learn to live without this person. Yeah, there's traditional values here. You carry this traditional values and this person didn't. They went towards other things that their friends and people they hung with, their friends, family, whoever, that were doing those things. They went towards that. Seven of Pentacles. They invested instead of in you and other things. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Give me some more cards, please, on this subject before we move on. And it left you broken. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, now you're being recognized. You have meaningful work. You're doing creative things. You're collaborating with other people. Yeah, maybe in the communications uh, field. Nine of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they're haunted by the loss of you. Yeah, they're sleepless nights and anxiety and panicking because they want to come towards you. They want to put this family back together again. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is a person of self-control, pragmatic, maybe looks for more material as a head over heart type of person and not so much an emotional um lovey-dovey kind of individual maybe they didn't show you that side of them because they weren't capable at the time maybe it was more of a sexual thing for some of you nine of cups yeah but you're their wish come true they see success or maybe you're, they're seeing your success without them maybe they're working too hard maybe they're a workaholic unfocused though in love but squandering whatever life you know gifts or talents that they have in other areas they work too hard or they're not working hard enough i think it's burnout i think they do work hard this individual but i think that they do squander their material they're materialistic and they squander their money maybe they focus it in the wrong areas yes 
like partying and stuff like that and that got them in trouble with you because you have a family with this person and that you wanted them to be more focused on the family and they were focused on other things like their friends hanging out with their friends you know doing the most with their friends that type of thing and leaving you behind you got sick and tired of the games and you walked away three of wands or you told them to get lost aries leo sagittarius right here there's success though you're gonna see success in the future or it's coming soon yeah yeah eight of swords in the reverse the beginning of awakening so this person is trying to break free from this bondage of what they're doing trying to get free maybe they asking for your forgiveness knight of pentacles in the reverse workaholic again you know the relationship is at a standstill because they weren't reliable they broke your heart and you found it hard to forgive this person but spirit is encouraging you to forgive so that you don't have blockages in your future yeah the star in reverse very negative individual very depressed now though because of the loss of you they're realizing that now but they want success with you but maybe there is success and achievement that's happening in it with yourself in advancement in your career six of wands because you're the queen of pentacles right the, the, you were a vibrational match for this person but they didn't see that at the time prosperous creative a good mother generous all the things that they were looking for but they weren't seeing in you is what i'm hearing to their <laughs> to their loss to their loss you know foolishness it's like I don't know what to say about that. It's just, I don't know what to say. It just, it makes no sense, but it is what it is. They, they couldn't see your worth at the time. They had all this, these other people that were enticing them to walk away from you and not settle down, not stay with you. Even though you had a family with this person, you had a life with this person, you had opportunities with this person, you were doing things with this person. You were, I don't know. They, they got their eye turned and they went in that direction. And then... They were young. They were immature, I, I would say. They were young and immature, and they they didn't see that they should settle, even though they did make that commitment with you. And now it's, like, over with. And you've moved on from that, and they stayed stuck in that. And now that's all they can see is what they gave up. Too little, too late is what I hear from some of you. Yeah, too little, too late. Get an affirmation card so we can end this spirit, please something to give this person some guidance perhaps i attract po prosperity with ease i constantly receive incredible gifts from life and that's what you're noticing i say yes to opportunity and abundance and that is what i hear and see here that there's victory there's abundance that there's things that you are going to achieve and you are going to get regardless of this individual yeah i am free and at peace is what i'm hearing and you are you moved forward in your life good for you there's good things that are going to be coming to you because you did that because you thought more of yourself than just settling for somebody's crumbs and you cared about your family you cared about their abundance as well it wasn't a selfish act it wasn't never think that thank you so much for joining me today on empress aries 888 please like and subscribe and join my tribe i would love to have you till next time be safe out there my friends be blessed